Hey guys, it's Tiger here. Before this video starts, I want you guys to click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you know when all my videos come out. Enjoy! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Tyga, but my real name is Morgan, but no one cares about that. Let's skip the intro part. Anyway, so today I am going to be doing Say It Season 2, Episode 5 of Explaining. So, I know, um, I don't really know much about this episode, but last episode was really juicy, really spicy, loved it. Awesome. Um, I promise to be 100% honest in this video. Yay, I look like Snow White. Love that. Okay, anyway. Sorry, I had to turn on my light. Um, but yeah, so I'm ready. So let's dive into this gloriousness, shall we? We shall. Awesome. Okay. Alright, listen, I'm an idiot. I'm I meant to put in episode six and not five. Okay, great, love that. Anyway, let's dive into this episode. Fun. Just please come home Don't leave me tonight So, you excited about our date later? Yeah, I can't wait I know, I'm excited to see the treehouse I know I mean, I may have fallen out of it a few times when I was little, but yeah, we don't really talk about that. Oh my god, Max. <laughs> <laughs> if you fall out this time, I'll be sure to catch you. Should I fall out on purpose then? <laughs> You're so cute. She used to look at me with that smile. Funny how things have changed. Hey, uh, Percy, do you got a minute to talk? Sure, what's on your mind? So, uh... I don't know if I ever talked about this, but, uh, Allison and Percy were, uh, their siblings, and they're both supposed to be a leading role, um, a leading or supporting role, um, but this is basically, like, a minor role, um, because we had too many lead characters, and it was just way too many people for me to focus on, and their story wasn't exactly that interesting to where the point where I was like, okay, I'm gonna make them a lead. Like, um, when I started the series, um, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna make it to like six main characters. Like, that's enough for me. Um, 
Uh, and it honestly started off with four main characters, and then it went to six, and then it went to eight. So uh, I, I was like, I'm not having ten main characters. Like, this isn't a thing that's, you know, that's never going to happen. So um, I, I'm sticking to eight main characters because, honestly, that's, like, that's dead killing me. So, like, I'm okay with having eight main characters but basically percy is kind of like everyone's friend you know he knows everyone he's very friendly he's he's awesome he has great advice um so he's like he's ren's friend he's oliver's friend he's julian's friend he's basically everyone's friend so i mean good for him allison is really sweet and awesome you know she's not, like, popular, but she's not unpopular either. She's, like, in the middle. She knows basically everyone. She's just, like, her brother. She knows basically, like, everyone, and everyone's, like, her friend or whatever. So, um, yeah, I thought I would just, like, point that out to you guys because I know I never talk about them and uh, their story. Basically, like, there's nothing to their story. They're just, like, you know, they're nice. They're nice people, you know? They have a nice family. They They're nice to each other as siblings. Um, both smart, both nice, like, yeah, they just support the story, so, I thought I'd just point that out. Uh, since Beric is homeschooled and going through a lot, I, I didn't want to trouble him with my problems. Ren, I'm your friend. What's going on? It's, uh, I don't know how to word this, I guess. I can't help you if you don't talk to me. Max... She and Julian, it just makes me mad. I don't know why. You for real? What do you mean? You totally like her. It's so obvious. Wait, haven't you known that? Like, be honest. Uh, no, it's not like that. I don't have feelings like that for her. I'm not an idiot, and neither is Max, Julian, or anyone else at the school. I just don't like how she smiles at him. Well, who do you want her to smile at? Me! Ren. What? You're actually clueless! What do you mean? You're feeling jealous. Julian is her boyfriend. I... I... The only way you're gonna get over this feeling is if you finally admit it to yourself and accept it. You've been in love with Maxine since you first started talking to her. I have to deny it. Why? Because she has a boyfriend now. I can't be involved in that anymore. So you're not gonna tell her? You're just gonna keep quiet? Yep. Ren, if you want my advice, here it is. Confess your feelings for her, so that you won't have any regrets in your life. Maxine deserves to know that much. If she doesn't feel the same way, then that's the worst thing that could happen. <sighs> I hate you. You only hate me because I'm right. I'm leaving. He really is clueless. So, there is something about this scene that... <laughs> that I don't necessarily agree with. If someone is in a relationship, I don't suggest anyone to confess their feelings. Uh, unless you know that it's like going to burn you for like the rest of your life, then you should. But I mean, I don't agree with this method at all because I feel like it's very, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's very disrespectful to both parties in the in the relationship. Uh, so, I mean, it's just like saying, what if a girl confessed to, you know, my fiancé, Jeff? Uh, that would make things more complicated for all of us. Um, him knowing that and then me knowing that, um, it could potentially break up both of us. Um, unless, like, you know, obviously he doesn't feel the same way, and he rejects her. But still, knowing that in, like, the back of my head, I would still feel kind of, like, insecure about it. 
Who's texting me? Go away, I'm recording. Um, but, you know, I, I don't suggest it to anyone unless you know that it's, like, going to ruin your entire life. If you don't, then I suggest just do it then. But, I mean, I don't know, I guess it depends. Like, like there's some situations where I'm like, okay, yeah, you can confess, like, just get it over with and then, like, move on. Or it's just ignore it entirely and, you know, find someone else to have, like, a crush on, you know? It's, I don't know. Uh, it's, like, I'm both ways. Like, I can see it both ways, but I'm more, like, don't do it unless, like, you necessarily really, like, have to, you know? Like, if you're dying or something. You know? I don't know. Alright, leave me alone. I'm nervous. What is there to be nervous about? It's just you and Julian. Exactly. Maxine, chill. Just be you and enjoy yourself. Fine, but you have to tell me all about what happened with Oliver sometime. Maxine, your hot date is here! Dad! Seems like you gotta go. Yeah, I'll text you later. Bye. Julian. Maxine, you look beautiful. My little girl is growing up! Oh my god. This is a beautiful moment that absolutely must be documented. Julian, let's go. This is actually really nice. I know, it reminds me of when things were simpler, you know? Tell me about it. Max. <laughs> what is this? Why am I... Why are you crying? Did you hurt yourself again? You're such a baby. It hurts. <laughs> I'm always here to protect you, alright? I'm like your superhero, so you'll never be in danger and no harm will come to you. So stop crying, okay? <laughs> and you'll never hurt me either? Never, Maxie. <laughs> I'm the worst. The deets? Uh, Maya, you scared me. That's not important. Give me the deets of your date. Well, so here's what happened. And that's the story on how I became the king of the geese. <laughs> You're really funny. <laughs> not really. I don't really talk much with other people. You should. You're one of the funniest, sweetest, most amazing guys I've ever met. Maxine. And then what happened? Maya, calm down. I will not. That is the cutest. Okay, you have to tell me every last detail. Jeez, lady, it wasn't that. Hi. Hey. About last night, it was amazing. amazing. Oh. 
Glad to know we're on the same page. I'll see you at lunch. I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> Did that just happen? Max, you have to spill. Now. Well, okay, we... Have to go to class now. Bye! Girl, come back here! Honestly, their friendship is so freaking cute. I love it. I... <laughs> it was a bit cheesy, but like... I thought it fit really well. I wanted to show like their friendship and whatnot. Um, and it's just, it's so cute, you know? I, this is the time where I really freaking shipped Maxine and Julian. And I still, to this day, still sort of ship them. Not gonna lie. But I mean, their relationship was so pure. Like, it was real, unlike her and Peyton. And I, uh, I think that's what I really like about it. It's like, it's a fresh start for her. But like, at the same time, like, her and Ren have history. So like, everything kind of <laughs> clashes. <laughs> and I really like the fact that Ren was starting to actually like, figure out his feelings. And noticing like, oh, I actually think I actually have feelings for Maxine. But I'm not going to say anything because they're in a relationship. Um, so, yeah, okay, uh, let's, uh, continue. Harsh, you... I quit. And you pulled out of school, right? Yes. I... um... I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm happy. You are? Of course I am. I can finally be with you. A job is just a job. You're my forever. I love you, Jane. Do your parents know? Yeah. And... They were really mad at first, but... They've accepted it. This baby isn't a mistake, it's a blessing. Because this baby will be healthy and I'm just really happy I get to say that I'll be their mother and you'll be their father. You're truly amazing, Jane. You really are. <laughs> I love your smile. It's really beautiful. Oh, uh, by the way, I found you an amazing school that'll help with you and the baby. I already have job interviews at a few places. I also found a great daycare for the little one. <laughs> I'm sorry. W why are you crying? I'm just so happy. I'm really lucky to have someone so supportive and amazing as you. We'll be okay. Before we leave, I need to do something first. Wait for me, okay? Always. Don't be long, though. All right. Hey, you're not allowed to eat in here. <laughs> Are you gonna try and stop me? Oh no. I'm not about to get between a girl and her food. Good. Can I sit with you? Sure, why not? So, what brings you here? I was looking for you- I mean, <laughs> I just happened to walk by and I saw you and wanted to say hi. Hi, <laughs> by the way. Hi to you too, dork. Uh, it's pronounced Oliver. It's not that hard. It's like the food, olive. You just kind of add an R to the end of it. What? What? Anyway, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be eating with Maxine or something? You guys are inseparable. Oh, yeah. She's eating with Julian. And all left alone. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, I chose to leave. Maxie invited me too, but I just felt like I'd be the third wheel, so I came here. Wow, I totally thought Max would end up with Ren. Julian, huh? Nice guy, I guess. You haven't heard about Max and Julian? I mean, come on, have you been living under a rock? It's, uh... Been a bit since we last talked. Since, um... Oh, um, yeah, about that, I, uh... Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Ollie? I'm okay, really. You don't need to worry about me. Can we talk about something else, please? Okay. Just remember that even though you may be a dork, you mean a lot to me. I'm always here for you, alright? Whenever you need me. So, what do you want to talk about? Actually, never mind. I just remembered I have to go somewhere. I'll see you around, okay? Wait. M M Maya. Th this isn't something I'd ever do, but... But Oliver, I, um... Never mind, it's, it's nothing. Maya? Never mind, okay? You don't have to say it in words. I already know. Holy. So, the past two scenes that we just saw, um, Karsh and Jane, uh, honestly have... They've improved so much, you know. You know, Karsh is really trying to show how supportive he is and um, how he's going to help with the baby and whatnot. And I like the fact that I included him asking about her parents. Because I know a lot of people were probably wondering, like, what about her parents? Like, do they approve? Do they not approve? Blah, blah, blah. Obviously, they were mad at first. And then they were like, okay, well, she's not getting an abortion. Like, that's her you know, her body, her choice, um, and so they're just supportive now, and I like the fact that, uh, Karsh was saying, like, how he's gonna get a new job, that they're both leaving the school, um, how he found a program for her and a daycare for the little one whenever he or she is born, um, and I, I thought it was really, really cute, because, like, uh, you know, they're, they are leaving, and I wanted to, like, make sure I answered, like, everyone's questions about, like, what was going on and what's happening. Um, and so I try to put as much as possible, so I answer, like, their parents, uh, when they're both leaving, uh, what about Karsh's job, what about her school and the daycare, blah, blah, blah. I answered all of that in a one episode, so that was, like, awesomeness. Um, and then Maya and Oliver are one of the cutest couples, and they are the fastest couple that happened in the series. Um, and they've been together ever since, and I think it's really, really cute. <laughs> um, they are truly one of a kind. They love each other so much, and, you know, this episode, you can tell, like, they're both kind of, like, pulling and pushing away. Um... Like, they want to be together, but, like, they still have, like, their own stuff on their own plates. Um, him with his dad and his brother, and her with her, like, disease and stuff. Um, it's, it's, it's hard for them, I would say. I don't, I would not say that it's easy for them. Um, but they try their best to be together and be supportive of one another and really, you know, help each other. And I really, really like their relationship, so their goals. <laughs> Alex? I'm not 
in the mood. Alex, wait, please. I know what I did was really, really stupid and I'm really honestly, truly sorry. I feel really bad about it and I know it's not an excuse. I hurt you, I bugged you. I know I may never earn your forgiveness, but I need to formally and politely apologize to you in person. I won't be here starting from today. Where are you off to? I, uh, I'm going to a different school. What for? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm pregnant. Oh, wow, uh, congratulations. Thanks. I forgive you, Jane. You do? Yeah, I get it people have their reasons for lashing out at others. And some can hold grudges longer than others. We all do it, but I know you've changed, and honestly, it's a good thing. Thanks, Alex. Good luck. You too. See ya. The scene was so important, and I'm really happy that I stuck with it, um, because I know deep down, if Jane didn't do that, I feel like they would still have like a rough patch between one another, and I really wanted her to like clear her conscience when she's like leaving. So uh, I know she feels really, really bad about hurting Alex's feelings, why not? So I think it was really polite and nice to add like the scene in, so that like. Jane and Alex can, you know, come to terms and be okay between one another. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really happy that I added that scene. Go me! <laughs> Maxine! Will you get the door for me, please? I'm making dinner! Coming! Ren? Hey. What are you doing here? Um, I, I came to talk to you about something. I can't, Ren. Please, Max. This will only take a minute. Can we go outside and talk? Please. I need to let this go. Fine. Max! Who said the jo- Oh! I didn't expect to see you here, Ren. Hey, Mr. Lore. I just came to talk to Max for a little bit. Oh, well, if this is important, then I won't mind it anybody else's business. Do you mind staying for dinner? Uh, no thanks, Mr. Lore. I'm good. Okay, then. Well, I hope you have a good night. Thank you, sir. Stop! Where are you taking me? What do you want to talk to me about? This isn't easy for me, Max, okay? When we used to be the best friends as kids. We used to play hide-and-seek. We talk and talked about everything we'd do after we grew up. I treasured every moment we spent together, and still do. But right now, everything seems to be so different so wrong. I'm just really sorry for hurting you as much as I did. I know that I'm a horrible person, and I... I just want to make things right. You deserve to hear the whole truth, because this is honestly killing me. Bren. There's something else that I have to tell you. If I don't say it now, I don't know if I ever will. 
Say it. Something has been bothering me for a while, Max. I just feel like something's missing. Like one part of me is missing. It, it hurts, and it took me forever to realize why. Now I know. Looking at you now, I'm sure. What are you trying to say? Just spit it out. Say it. I'm trying to say that I like you, Max. I really like you. I can't stand that you smile at Julian now the way that you used to smile at me. I can't do it anymore. I don't want you to be with other guys. I may be selfish, but I know that I want you in my life. I... I just... No... Ren... You know I can't. Maxine! Ren... I... I don't feel the same way you do. You're lying. I'm not. Max... I said I'm not. Don't. Don't do that. You... You can't do that. I'm not yours, Ren. You... You... Max! Max! Maxine! Where did she go? Damn it! Maxine, please answer me. I don't know what to do. I should have grabbed you instead of letting you run off. Maxine! Max! <laughs> Why? Why? God, I'm such an idiot! I can't, I can't give up. I won't. <laughs> it's this episode okay so a lot of talk about this episode the ending scene um obviously <laughs> very dramatic <laughs> so ren felt like he would regret if he didn't say he liked Maxine, which is something I agree and disagree on, uh, depending on the situation. Um, in this situation, I feel like Ren was in the wrong. Like, I feel like he didn't have the right to uh, hug her, touch her, or even say that he liked her. Um, just because of his past, of how he treated her, and the fact that she is in a relationship with someone else. Um, but in, in a way, and in a sense, it is really cute and honest that he was able to do that uh i know for a fact that this character would have definitely regretted if he didn't say it now because he's the type of person to like when you get the courage you have to do it now or it's like now or never um so it was kind of in his point of view he is in like the right like he he can do 
he can say how he feels in that moment, but when it comes to Maxine, like, he's in the wrong. Um, and the fact that Maxine said that she doesn't feel the same way that he does, and the fact that he didn't believe that, um, obviously there's, like, a, a thing between them still, but the fact that Max literally is trying to move on and is in a relationship, like, this would frustrate me if I was her. And, um... I would have done the exact same thing that she probably would have done. <laughs> um, but yeah, so when he hugged her, she did push him. That's why he was on the ground. Um, and the fact that uh, she was really emotional, she was really paying attention to where she was going, she was being oblivious. Uh, it was raining as well, and she got hit by a car, which was a hit and run. That's why there's not a car there. Um, it was a hit and run, so that basically means like a car came out, hit her, and left. Um, so I think I, I, I think I do mention this later on in the episodes, um, but yeah, the thing that kind of would have made the scene better was if I, if in the scene me and Jeff tried harder in the scene, I feel like we could have improved the scene with a little bit more emotion and acting into it. Um, other than that, it was a great scene, I feel like, um, and it made a lot of sense, and it was very realistic. Um, but this episode was really, really great, it was really, really fun. Um, thank you to those who helped me with this episode, thank you to my body actors, my writers, and yeah, basically everyone. Thank you so much for helping me. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe to Become a Cub if you aren't already, and hit the notification bell so you know when all my videos come out. Again, I do have merch if you guys want to go and check it out. Um, I'll be having new designs out sometime soon, hopefully. I'm trying to get around to that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, all my social media is down in the description down below for you guys, so please go and check that out. You can find my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Discord, my Patreon, and my Wattpad. Um, I have a new story that's going to be coming to Wattpad sometime soon, so I'm really, really excited for it. Um, hopefully, I can also do Griffin's Diary on my Wattpad, but that one won't be as fast as the other story, probably, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mwah.